What is going on everyone? How is everyone doing? Welcome back! Right, we are going to play a game called Song of Horror. I have seen a few clips of this game and quite frankly I, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, so I've already fucked about the settings. Hopefully the game's loud enough. Uh, just turn my volume up a little bit more. Alright, let's just get fired in. It looks as though there's a prelude, a Friday like any other. So, I don't know much about this game. So, for my little something. So you guys, if you do enjoy this video near the end, I mean, I'm putting myself into situations that I don't like, so please hit the like button if you do make it through this video. Share it with your friends, and if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button. But right now, none of that fucking matters, because what the shit is going on here? Uh, no, no. What the fuck? Somebody has opened Pandora's box. We recommend using headphones and controller for a more immersive experience. And sorry, I just got a mouse and keyboard. Oh, Dittums. September 25th, 1998. This is a very beautiful game. 1990. Ah, the 90s. One of the, the options, like the difficult option that I couldn't pick. Because it wouldn't let me go higher than normal, apparently. It uh, was HP Lovecraft. Home uh, sweet home. So, oh! Oh, it's the car. Oh. Okay. And I don't need to press E, I just need to click. Oh, what are you? What's in here? My 80s vinyl collection. Maybe next month I'll be able to afford a shelf to put them in. <laughs> ah, yeah, the 90s when everything was thought to be expensive, but it really, really fucking wasn't. You, sir, have probably bought this house and 30 years later, almost, will probably sell this same house for an absolute fucking fortune. Packed with random stuff. My apartment is definitely too small. Mate, I'm quite happy to live in an apartment probably about the size of this fucking room. That's all I'll probably get. Sebastian P. Husher, the historical fiction author. He sold four million copies of his last novel. He's a fucking big shot then, isn't he? Oh. It's, a oh. it's actually a nice afternoon. The came my boss likes to fuck up with one of his stupid errands. Oh. Is he squeezing out a wee turd? Uh, I don't know if that says Coca-Cola, but from here, with the blurriness in my eyesight, it looks just says... Fuck a fuck. <laughs> I don't know what it says. It's probably just Coca-Cola. Okay. What other buttons are there? Can I do anything else? Can I... F, R, Q... Like, nothing else. Okay. You can sum your vinyls up. You can sum of the fancy vinyls. Listening to jazz out of all of the music. He had to pick jazz. You're better off just sitting on that couch and spunking your day away. Not the greatest pizza. What's the best pizza you've ever had? Tell me in the comments below. Can I read? I don't care about that. I just I want to see the plant. Oh, the poor plant's dying. Okay. Could have sworn you took out the trash. Oh, it's just a light. 
I'm guessing I'm in New York, probably just by the way this shittiness is. Some leftover coffee. Not your drug of choice. What is your drug of choice? Let me guess. Beer. Squeaky clean just like it should be. It doesn't look fucking squeaky clean if you ask me. Plus you didn't get any groceries. You didn't. The man didn't get groceries. How the fuck are you living, mate? You living in squalor. Hmm. His videotape collection. Oh. How many people out there remember videos? VCRs? Or am I just showing my age? Children, VCRs used to be these big fucking black boxes that had tape in it that would play movies and you could record on them and stuff. Yeah, and VCRs, you had to rewind them. Like, sometimes you'd have to do it manually. Yeah, I'm that fucking old. Okay, so I have a flashlight. But obviously I've not picked it up, because I don't need it. Toilet drains things as usual. Can I go in here? No? What was the point of that? This is a good... Oh crikey, seriously? Oh crikey! Where the fuck are you from, mate? Crikey! Let me guess, this is off the back of Crocodile Dundee. Hello? Hello? Joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday, or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus... Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh. And if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husher, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. I have a sneaking suspicion that nobody will be home. Don't you? The Husher Mansion is home to writer Sebastian P. Husher, his wife, Catherine, their two children, and their 
estranged kitten. I don't fucking know. So you're going to walk in nice and slowly. Friday like any other. <laughs> Alright. Tricycle. You didn't know he had kids? It literally told you he has kids. Oh, I can run now. Why take the side door when I can take the front door? <laughs> so now I can run. I think see a newspaper. That murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How did I know? Is that music? I'd better take a look. Where did, where did the flashlight come from? Light source. Each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press F. Okay. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. To do so, use the mouse button. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you need. Sure. Oh, I need to hold escape. Okay. Is that someone playing a music box? Oh, that is weird. So I can be in complete control. Okay. Why is it I always, always end up in the bathroom first? You can go to that nice restaurant, but I probably should take things slow. Don't want to mess this up again. Okay. Right. I always end up going in through the fucking toilet. There's other clothes. Is anyone home? Probably not. Yeah, the, the washroom would not be my choice of first room. I guess it needs fixing. Or maybe it's like that for a reason. Paintings are depressing. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of suitcases. Okay, so it's in here. Can, can I come over here? There's a game of chess being played here. No? Can I not join on with the game of chess? There we go. Can I turn the lights on? So I don't have to deal with walking around with a fucking... What is with the head? So they're all first editions. Then why do I need the manuscript to sell? Why the fuck I run away with first editions? Hmm. History and art magazines. I'm gonna bore you to death. Says the guy who listens to fucking jazz. And again, you're you're judging them on watering their plant when you fucking killed yours. You hypocritical prick. Do you think they almost ruined my life? This guy's an asshole. Is it the piano that's playing? Please tell me it's not the fucking piano. There's something in that room. Watch as it stops playing. 
anything on that doorknob. Yes, there seems to be something there, yes, yes. You found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing E. Or just click the fucking button. To examine the back side, use the arrow. <laughs> Look at its arse. If you can access your inventory and collect documents at any time by pressing I or J. Okay. Dear Seba Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. I'm guessing this is what Isaac Farber sounds like. My dear friend, I must ask you, or he's German, so it'd be like, Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. <laughs> My dear friend, friend, I must ask you, I must, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store. An ornate music box with fascinating engravings. Yeah. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps I should say ear. <laughs> the melody, Sebastian. It's peculiar. You should listen to it for yourself. I have never heard... I... I had... I, I has never heard this song before, and my attempts at finding this score, or the name of the composer, have fa you went French there, composer, have failed me. <laughs> I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Mein Kopf. Okay. Ooh. Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody? I would be forever grateful. With the warmest of wishes, the warmest of wishes, Isaac Faber. P.S. I have also enclosed lit little information I have managed to find about said box. Letter addressed to Sebastian P. Husher. 25, Abbott, Thomas Road, 4. Uh, my German accent is not the greatest. <laughs> oh, shit. Interesting. Yes. I'm guessing this was playing in the background. Can't, can't see that. Oh, I'm walking into shit. Can I? Where is everybody? Pan breed. Uh, is that's rhyming slang for deed or dead? Something's gonna look it back at me. Watch. I've got a feeling these mirrors are all gonna be. Important somehow. Okay, let's have a look in here. What the? How can there be a door there? What? Not, not, how can there be a door there? How can there be a door there that is covered in slimy goo? Uh, 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 your door's leaking, mate. Uh, do you want a joiner or a plumber? <laughs> or both? What's over here? College dorm. This is is this like a little museum he's got going on here? 
Are those rifles real? I fucking hope so. I will probably need one. Oh, that's pretty cool. With the samurai armor. And I'm guessing that looks like German, actually. German or... Yeah, it's probably German. Seems like that. Or Italian. And if you're wondering how I know that, it's that particular style with the upturned, with well, the visors all the way up here. Uh, also, the way that the shoulders sit. Uh, it's a very typical kind of German slash Italian style. Because the Germans and Italians were very good at making armor, especially in the Renaissance period. Uh, the French normally, like, it wasn't as fancy, but the French armor was practical. It was very good. And the English armor was just practical as well. Uh, the English got their ideas and their models and stuff for armor off of the French, and the French took all the practical aspects, uh, such as collars that come up here to stop uh, arrows that hit the breastplate from flying up into your neck, so it would come up. Whereas the German armor was designed to be uh, very fancy looking to say the least but again it's just at that time period with the high visors and stuff and the protection of the face is because of pikemen uh, around that time there was probably musket fire so probably a thicker breastplate so you know but I am no expert if you want to know more about that then there are plenty of uh, channels on the old tube of the U. Yeah, that's right. Just touch the leaking. Do oh my god, it's so loud. Touch the leaking door. Yes. Yes. That has now closed behind you. Wonderful. I taken a step forward. When I heard the door close behind Also, there's a shit ton of crosses. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. <sighs> the candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. No, I thought you said... suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into day I thought that I had infinite battery I to fall in and out of a restless sleep I would hear voices sometimes right next to me other times a few yards away so I've been in this fucking door for like days they were coming from the other side of the wall Narnia desperate cries, oh god howling in horror and sometimes the worst of all a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere Ooh. all at once. I don't like that. There was nobody there. Just hallucinations. Don't like that at all. Nightmares. Black nothingness. And the song from that music box. That would drive me insane. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered... I was going to die there. Well, people are going to have to come looking for you because you've just disappeared, right? A door that should not be. So three days later. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave. Just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? So this is Monday. Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. 
Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, I'm headed over. So there's gonna be multiple people walking around this house at the same time looking for each other, right? This seems like a very sort of Resident Evil, like the original, like number one style, where you were walking around the mansion and there was other people there. Age 40, light source, candle, great. She has a fucking candle. What, did you did you not pick up a fucking flashlight? It's 1998, come on. Life has put Sophie to test many times, but she's always pulled through. It was thanks to the resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive property she has always longed for. So this is his ex. So the speed, stealth, strength, and serenity. What? She has scented candles. Okay. Oh, I can pick. Oh, this is interesting. Etienne Bertrand. Light source, lighter. Again, just if you have a lighter, light a fucking candle is better than a lighter. And if you wanted to, you could have a flash. You're rich enough, buy a phone with a light on it. Okay. Speed, stealth, strength's really good, serenity. Write down anything important. Who the fuck are you? Light source candle. Oh, they're housekeepers. What the fuck? There's so many people. Okay, so we'll just start with this. We'll just start from her and work our way over just because of the way that it worked out. Right? Right? Did I fuck up? Don't make hasty decisions if you don't know whether to act or not. You can always walk. God, I didn't read that. Why do I have to go over at night time? Ugh. What? Why was there a, a fucking creepy... Ugh. What are you going to say? Beginning to rust is me being here for days. Days in order to rust? No, try weeks. In through a storm. Okay, there's literally... Episode 1, The Husher Mansion. The door was open. Is there anybody home? That's right, just, just shout. Make yourself well known to anyone that isn't a home. Oh. Huh. Oh, look at your face. That's creepy looking, right? Let's leave. Oh, I can go in this one now. I didn't expect that. Pack suitcases are everywhere. Oh, I'm in the garage. Still pretty. Oh, go down the stairs, you dumb. Ooh, a motorbike. The motorcycles themselves aren't dangerous, it's the drivers around you. Boiler functioning. Oh, I can't read that shit. Boiler functioning upper panel. Shut down. Press the left button. Start. Press the central button. Empty and press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing cor correct boiler functioning. You can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. 
Okay. We'll have to shut off the electricity. Yes. Fuses. I could probably uh Can I not? Hmm. I don't see any way to get this open. There you do. Screwed shut. Okay. No oh, flathead screwdriver. Well, shit. You're in a garage, and there's no flathead screwdriver. That's just bullshit. Is there... What else can I do? Oh no, turn turn that back on! Good God! Okay. I can't do anything else. Click, click. Jesus. Oh. Is this one of these doors to nowhere? Mm -mm. It is, isn't it? I'm opening a door to nowhere. Isn't set properly. Oh yeah, we know. Okay. Already seen all this. Ooh, letter. Uh, my dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children will be very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back, and I don't want them playing with it. I'll tell them not to play with it then. Simple. You're the adult, you're in charge. Okay, so I'm going to go back in here. Oh, it's been locked. The bugger. That window's open. I'm guessing I'm probably going to go through that window with someone else. Why? Why is that a thing? Then clean it. <laughs> okay, uh, go through here. I'll tell you what though, the, the camera angles are actually really unnerving. Uh -huh. Plenty of matches left. Okay, uh, I will... Mm -mm. Oh, I can't use that item. I know I was just in here, but I'm just... Okay, I'm gonna go back through here. I'll just be a second. Uh -huh. There's something on the counter. What's that? A metal ring. And there's something chomping, chippy chomping in my left ear. Huh. Iron. Nothing unusual. Put the damn thing on. Put it on. Iron. Uh, that's an old Irish thing. It keeps the fae away. That's an Irish thing. Uh -uh.
Oh, it's sparking. Okay, don't stand on it. Can I stand on it? Will I die? No? Huh. Oh, that's bullshit. Yes. Oh. Jesus. Sol 7. Is that what it says? Please tell me it says that. Sol 7. And again, the windows open. The windows are open up. And pour yourself some. Mm -mm. Locked. Okay, what's in here then? The pantry. That is the pantry. Wonderful. Rusty can of motor oil. What can I use this for? What could I use? I could set fire to shit. Uh -uh. Oh, I thought that would be... Something important. What the fuck was that? No, I can listen at doors? No, what was that noise? You better take a look before you go back out. To press your ear against the door, walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, press and hold the right trigger. While you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other Side. Why is this a mechanic? I don't want this. What was that? Oh, seriously, fuck this. Seems like the coast is clear. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of the unexamined doors. Sometimes you may have the chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Use your map to you find your way around. It records every single place you've been so far. To open it, press M. The map will be constantly updated with relevant information. I didn't hear anything in there. Okay, so I need a key. Dining room. There's a hiding space, so I need a key. Garage. Okay. Boo. Okay, so I don't need to listen there. I don't need to listen there. Okay, now I'm quite nervous. Okay. I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, just because the tension's building. And I'm like, ooh. And I want to just keep that tension. Uh, so... If you're enjoying this and you want to see more, give the video a like, give a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. You can hit the subscribe button. If you have already hit the subscribe button, then thank you very much. But if you want to be notified of anything else I bring out in the future, hit that bell icon. Dang it! As always, my social media is down below in the description, along with my merchandise uh, and the artist who designed my logo. 
she is local she is amazing go check her out again guys thank you for coming along thank you for checking this out and i hope to see you guys in the next video take care